Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering Bayesian Belief Network in data mining. Guys, I have uploaded complete data mining subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. The term Bayesian denotes statistical method. In statistical method, we represent complex data in simple format and is based on Bayes theorem. This Bayesian belief network provides a simple way of applying Bayes theorem to complex problem. In Bayesian belief network, we apply Bayes theorem to complex problems. Before explaining definition, I will explain phases of Bayesian belief network. Totally, there are two phases in Bayesian belief network. They are first one is directed acyclic graph, shortly we call it as DAG, and next one is conditional probability table. We call it as CPT. At first, I will explain what is directed acyclic graph, that is DAG. Directed graph mean graph which contain directions, that is nothing but graph which contain arrow marks, is known as directed graph. And acyclic mean graph which do not contains any cycle. For example, this is cyclic graph. Total there are three nodes that is node A, node B and node C. Node A is directed to node B and node B is directed to node C and node C is directed to node A. And again node A is directed to node B. That means graph is repeating again and again. There is no end for this. So it is known as cyclic graph. But acyclic mean graph which do not form any cycle. For example, node A is passing to node B and node B is passing to node C. In this, there is no cycle. So it is known as acyclic graph. This is directed acyclic graph because this graph do not contains any cycle and it is directed. Now I am taking an example of lung cancer. Total there are two possibilities of getting lung cancer. They are first one is family history and next one is smoker. And person those who smoke they can also get another disease like emphysema. Emphysema is also one of the disease. Person those who get lung cancer they will get positive x-ray and they will get breathing problem. So I am connecting this lung cancer to positive x-ray and breathing problem and person those who suffer from emphysema they will not get positive x-ray but they will get breathing problem so i am connecting this emphysema to breathing problem here each node of network is either random variable or attribute that means whatever the data that is present inside this node we call this data as variable for example here lung cancer is variable here family history is variable, smoker, smoker is variable. We can also call this smoker as attribute. Attribute mean character. Attribute represent character of a person. Smoker is character. So we can also call this variable as attribute. And arrow mark shows relationship between variables or attributes. For example, if you consider this variable that is breathing problem, person with lung cancer will get breathing problem and person with emphysema disease also will get breathing problem. So parents of this breathing problem are First one is lung cancer and next one is emphysema. These both are parents to this breathing problem. For example, if you consider variable that is lung cancer, lung cancer depends on family history and smoker. So parent variable of this lung cancer are family history and smoker. These both are parents to this lung cancer. Call dependent variables as parent variables. Now I want to find probability of getting lung cancer. We can find probability of particular variable by using conditional probability table. This is conditional probability table of lung cancer where LC represent lung cancer and negation LC represent not getting lung cancer. And lung cancer depends on two variables. They are family history and smoker. So we consider both family history and smoker as parent variables. So we need to take only parent variables. So what are possibilities here? First one is family history and smoker. Next one is family history and non-smoker and third one is no family history and smoker and last one is no family history and non-smoker. These are four possibilities. For example, if a person is having both family history and smoking habit, then out of 10%, there is 8% of chance to get lung cancer and remaining 2% chance of not getting lung cancer. If a person is having family history but he don't have smoking habit then out of 10 percent he has 5 percent chance to get lung cancer and remaining 5 percent chance of not getting lung cancer person don't have family history but he has habit of smoking then out of 10 percent he has 7 percent chance to get lung cancer and remaining 3 percent chance of not getting lung cancer person don't have family history and as well as smoking habit 
then out of 10 percent he has only one percent chance to get lung cancer and remaining nine percent chance of not getting lung cancer this is conditional probability table by using this conditional probability table we can represent conditional probability of variable now i will explain definition of bayesian belief network bayesian belief network is a probabilistic graphical model that represents set of variables and their conditional dependencies through a directed acyclic graph bayesian belief network is a probabilistic graphical model that means graph Graphical model mean we use graph that is directed a cyclic graph and it is used to find probability. So it is probabilistic graphical model that represents a set of variables and their conditional dependencies through a directed acyclic graph. That means by using directed acyclic graph, this Bayesian belief network will show relationship between variables. That is how one variable is dependent on another variable based on the condition. I already explained this in this example. This is mathematical formula of Bayesian belief network. In order to find probabilities in Bayesian belief network, we use this formula. Meaning of this formula is probability of attribute is equal to probability of that particular attribute by its parent attribute. This is meaning of this formula. We use this formula in order to calculate joint distribution. I will explain joint distribution problem with an example. This is Bayesian belief network. As we know Bayesian belief network contains directed acyclic graph and conditional probability table. This is directed acyclic graph. Meaning of this graph is whenever robbery or earthquake occurs, this alarm will ring. When alarm rings, John and Mary calls to police. This is meaning of this graph. Now we need to write conditional probability table for each and every variable. This conditional probability table will provide information about how much chance is there that particular event will occur or will not occur. It will provide information about that. If we consider this variable that is robbery, how much chance is there that robbery will occur and robbery will not occur? There is 1% chance that robbery will occur and there is 99% chance that robbery will not occur. And similarly earthquake, there is 2% chance that earthquake will occur and remaining 98% chance that earthquake will not occur. Next we need to write probability table for this alarm. We need to write conditional probability table based on the variable and its parent variables. What are parent variables for this alarm? Robbery and earthquake. These two are parents. There are two chances for alarm. That is alarm will ring and alarm will not ring. And there are four chances. That is robbery will occur and earthquake will occur. Robbery will occur but earthquake will not occur. And robbery will not occur but earthquake will occur. And robbery and earthquake will not occur. These are the four chances. When robbery and as well as earthquake occurs, then there is 95% chance that alarm will ring. And rest of the 5% chance that alarm will not ring. Similarly, Robbery will occur but earthquake will not occur. In this case, there is 94% chance that alarm will ring and there is 6% chance that alarm will not ring. And when robbery will not occur but earthquake will occur, in this situation, there is 29% chance that alarm will ring and 75, 71% chance that alarm will not ring. And when robbery will not occur and earthquake will not occur, in that situation, there is 1% chance that alarm will ring because there is no robbery and no earthquake. So in that situation, there is only 1% chance that alarm will ring, 91% chance that alarm will not ring. This is conditional probability table for alarm. Guys, you should remember one important thing that is, you need to write probability of particular variable by comparing it with parent variable. Here parent of alarm are robbery and earthquake. So in this table, I took robbery and earthquake. Robbery and earthquake do not have any parent variable. So I directly written table. Now I am writing conditional probability for John calls. Parent of John calls is alarm. So here I took alarm, where A stands for alarm. Whenever alarm rings, there is 90% chance that John will call to police. And there is 10% chance that John will not call. And whenever alarm do not rings, there is 5% chance that John will call to police. And rest of the 95% chance that John will not call to police. Next, I written conditional probability table for Mary calls. Parent of Mary is alarm. So I written alarm here, where A stands for alarm. Whenever alarm rings, there is 70% chance that Mary will call to police. And rest of the 30% chance that Mary will not call to the police. And whenever alarm do not ring, in that situation, there is 1% chance that Mary will call to police and 99% chance that Mary will not call to police. This is conditional probability tables for each and every variable. In order to calculate joint distribution, we need to have conditional probabilities. We already written conditional probabilities by using conditional probability table. Joint distribution is nothing but we need to calculate probabilities for multiple events. Here we need to calculate probability for John calls, Mary calls, alarm rings 
and robbery not occurred and earthquake not occurred for this we need to calculate probability by using this formula formula is formula is probability of variable is equal to probability of that variable by its parent variable now i'm calculating probability of john calls by using this formula that is probability of john calls is equal to probability of john calls by its parent who is parent of john calls that is alarm but here what should i write alarm rings or alarm do not rings which one i need to consider i need to consider alarm rings because in question they given alarm will ring so here i need to consider alarm rings that is a into probability of mary probability of mary is equal to probability of mary by its parent who is parent of mary alarm here also we need to consider alarm rings because in question they given alarm will ring so i written a here that is alarm will ring and probability of a that is probability of a by its parent who is parents of a that is robbery and earthquake but in out of this four which one i need to consider i need to consider robbery will not occur and earthquake will not occur because in question they will they given that robbery will not occur and earthquake will not occur so i need to consider this that is robbery will not occur and earthquake will not occur and at last probability of robbery will not occur that is directly we need to write because there is no parents for this robbery into probability of earthquake not occur because there is no parents for earthquake also what is probability of john calls and alarm rings that is ja is 90 into probability of m by a that is mary calls and alarm rings 70 into probability of alarm rings and robbery do not occur and earthquake not occur for this probability is 1 into probability of robbery do not occur that is 99 into probability of earthquake not occurred that is 98 we need to multiply all this after multiplying all these values we will get result as 56 comma 133 comma 000 this is final result